Jamaica's former 100 metres world record holder Asafa Powell has been banned for testing positive for drugs. His 18-month suspension has been backdated to when he was tested, so it will end this December. Plenty of time to be ready for the next Olympics in Brazil. Another former world record holder told ITV News Tonight the problem of doping is bigger than ever. Richard Pallo reports. It is a depressingly familiar tale. Asafa Powell, now the fourth former world 100 meter record holder to be banned for drugs. It was after these Jamaican trials last year, Powell seen here in red, that he tested positive for the stimulant oxaliferin. The sprinter testified that it wasn't his fault, that his physical trainer had given him nine supplements and that he'd never failed a test in 12 years. But today, a panel in his own country disagreed. We are disappointed that having had two months to review the matter and provide with all evidence, we have no written reasons. Whether or not Powell's appeal is successful, his 18-month suspension means he can compete again by December. His ban backdated to the day of his failed sample, which means after missing last year's World Championships, the only other major event he'll miss will be the Commonwealths in Glasgow, leaving him free to go to next year's Worlds in Beijing and the 2016 Olympics in Rio. Hardly a deterrent to stop those tempted to cheat. And another disgraced former record holder, Tim Montgomery, believes drugs have never been more widespread in the sport. Dope in the day is bigger than ever. If I sit down and talk to a thousand sprinters, how many are still doing well now? It's very few. So if I'm going to get 18 months to make $20 million, I think a person will take that chance. The direst of warnings on just the latest damaging day for athletics. Richard Palo, ITV News. On tomorrow's front page is the guy.